to give people development vehicles like hackathons to experiment with VR, I think is key towards advancing this media. One of our things at Milk VR has been on focusing on building that catalogue of content to try and excite and uh, uh, energise audiences, but also to stimulate uh, publishers. The best projects are going to be featured on the Little Star platform for two weeks after the hackathon. I've been doing some hackathons, uh, especially lately. I just really love the community. I love the whole innovation, its technology and creativity and meeting amazing new people that are also into the same thing. Uh, this is my first hackathon. I feel like VR has just been, you know, sit at a chair and look around and maybe you have a game controller and maybe you have some movement control, but you don't get any like real feedback other than maybe your controller vibrates. So I'm trying to bring in more interesting and dynamic controllers that don't just vibrate. Over the course of the next few days, I'm hoping to learn a lot more about videography, 360, Unity, and hopefully creating some narrative projects that are kind of pushing virtual reality further than it's been pushed before. My goals for this hackathon are just to, to learn something, to meet a lot of people, and uh, hopefully make something cool. I'm part of a team now, ETC, and uh, I'm building a sound stick. So basically what I have is a Bluetooth uh, orientation sensor in here, and I have uh, surface transducers on the inside, so it's going to rumble and vibrate uh, in a very unique fashion uh, based on the orientation data. We are doing uh, Christ VR, the Jesus Christ virtual reality experience. I didn't bring any models, any pre-rendered, anything, any... Um, any assets, so I'm going to write all the code here. I'm going to use models that are freely available online. Um, so this is uh, the Roman soldier, and this is uh, five minutes into it, uh, setting up the scene. So we made a virtual reality museum. You walk around, you select different paintings that you want to view, and uh, it turned out really well. I just came from Montreal uh, looking to learn something and have fun. And uh, I was part of this amazing project. We did something uh, really ambitious and it worked out pretty well. I think the hackathon went really well. Um, people did great work. People worked well together. I'm um, particularly proud of the fact that we had gender parity. The, the hackathon was half men and half women and it had a great energy to it. It was a wonderful experience, you know, building and then fixing and building and fixing. And then the last day was basically you know, helping out debugging with Unity as much as I could, even though I was kind of hands-off for most of the time. And I uh, wish we could have got to integrate this more into our demo, but we were having too much trouble with um, Android, the way that it specifically talks with Bluetooth, just wasn't allowing us to do it. But we got it to work on a computer. So if it was a week, could have done a lot more. I think the, the really presentations are at least important. I think it's like people really focus on presentations and who won, uh, what prize did you win, and you miss out what this is. And what this is is you get to meet people that are like you. And when you meet people that are like you, you end up with a community.